Preloaders, VI Preloaders, welcome back to the channel. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me. And you know this, or at least you should. For those of you that have never been to this channel before, my name is Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant. I did a wonderful 22 year career with the NYPD. 15 of those years were spent with the elite NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle unit. The name of this channel is called Robert Simmons Paying It Forward. And this channel is primarily based on sharing my knowledge, experience, and training that I received from the elite NYPD Highway Patrol Motorcycle Unit with you guys, the motorcycle riding community, with a special focus on slow speed motorcycle operation because that's the skill that's most important. My goal is to raise your confidence levels and help you be the boss of your motorcycle. I also do practice sessions on this channel. I do private lessons, I do product reviews, and anything that I feel is gonna be beneficial to you guys, Preloader Nation. So for those of you that are familiar with my channel, my practice sessions when I do my Follow the Leader or some of my ride videos, which I don't do a lot of ride videos, but when I do do them, I know you guys have seen some awesome shots and a lot of you have sent me messages asking me, how did you get that shot? How did, why does it look like a drone is following you? Is there a drone following you? They just don't understand how I get these shots. And I've done videos on the camera that I use for those shots. It's an Insta360 One X2. That's the main camera that I use for those shots. I'm gonna to talk to you about that camera today and talk about how I kind of get those shots and what I use to get them. So the camera I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today, specifically the main camera I wanna to talk to you guys about is the uh, Insta360 Go 2. And that's not a 360 camera, but it's the smallest action camera in existence right now. And um, the features of it are phenomenal. Um, and the good news is right now, Insta360 is having a Black Friday slash Christmas sale. So they combine the Black Friday sale with the Christmas sale. And that's good news for you guys because Black Friday is already over. But this sale is from November 24th to December 14th. So you still have plenty of time and the sale covers not only the Go 2, but also the Insta360 One X2 and the One R and accessories. And if you click on the links that I'm gonna put in the description section, there's also gonna be freebies that come along with it. Now with the Go 2, the freebie is gonna be a free lens guard, which is very important. Anybody that uses these cameras knows how important it is to protect the lens. You're gonna get 10% off the Go 2 Okay, and that's not including the 64 gigabyte version. That's the 32 gigabyte version. That's also the version that you're going to get the free lens guard for. Um, you're also going to get 10% off of the One X2 and, the, and you get 15% off of the One R. Those other two cameras also come with freebies. So when you go to the description section, there's going to be a link for each of them. Click on the link and it'll take you right to where you need to be. And you can actually look and see all of the freebies that come along with them. That One X2 is going to come with a a lens guard, a free lens guard as well. Um, it's also gonna come with a free selfie stick. So does the One R, so just check that out, guys. All right, so what I do wanna do now is talk specifically about this new small, tiny action camera, the Go To. So I'm gonna do an unboxing. I haven't opened it up yet. I've done my homework on it, though. I like what I'm reading, but I wanna see what it does. I wanna experience it, and you guys are gonna love this. Check this out. All right, guys, so this is the box that the Insta360 Go 2 comes in. And everything you see around it are accessories, right? And the good news is the accessories also during this sale, 10% off, okay? But let's talk about this. So first of all, the box, the packaging is always good. Um, and I don't know if you can read it on here, but it has flow stabilization, which is very important, of course, in an action camera. This thing mounts anywhere because it has a magnetic back. We'll talk about that. It's waterproof to 13 feet. Hyperlapse, which is like a time lapse. It has a remote control, and that remote control is also the charger for this. And if you keep it in the remote control, it's gonna give you a longer battery life, up to, a, I think, 130 minutes or something like that. You can use it hands-free. Oh, I should also mention that the remote control can also act as a tripod. So it's got like three different uses, 1440p, um, 50 frames per second. It has auto editing. You can use that feature if that works for you. Slow motion and Wi-Fi preview. So 
and, and the, the biggest thing about this camera is just like the other Insta360 cameras, all of the editing can be done through the app and it's just, it's an amazing, amazing experience to be able to edit your videos on that app. Very easy. Um, and this is just different things showing you what we're gonna be talking about. Where, in other words, there's a magnetic mount on the back of the camera and it comes with a device. It's called, a, it's like a necklace, it's a pendant. You wear it around your, you put it around your neck and you put it on the inside of your shirt and then you can just put the camera on the outside of your shirt. And there you go, it's hands-free, it gives you a POV, which is a point of view. Um, and it comes with a clip too that you can put it on the brim of your cap, or in this case, this guy has it on a headband. So you see all the uses of it. Um, again, like I said, it's waterproof and it has technology where it gives you a nice clear view underwater. So just a bunch of good stuff. All right, I just want to show you, and this is the 64 gigabyte version. Again, like I said, the 64 gigabyte version is not the version that's gonna come with the free lens guard, but that's a 32 gigabyte version, all right? But this version is still on sale. So let's open it up. Wow, guys. And when I tell you this thing is tiny, this thing is tiny. <laughs> Wow, look at that. So just imagine the things you could do with that. Oh, and look at that, guys. I was wondering what was holding it on. It's a magnet, all right? That's what was holding it on, a magnet. So right off, right out the gate. Okay, so just to show you guys the size of this thing and the thickness. All right, guys, are you already imagining the possibilities with this little thing? Now, I should mention that this camera is not designed to compete with a GoPro or anything like that, but it is gonna be used um, for uh, any application where the GoPro or any camera uh, like the GoPro, like the Insta360 ONE R, any place those cameras can't really fit, this camera's gonna fit, all right? Okay, so this is what it was sticking to, and I know that's the pendant, so let's, Take that out. And as you can see, it has a string on it. You put this around your neck. And then you take the camera, stick it on. Look at that, All right? That is cool. Okay, we'll put that to the side. And we have some literature here. And this is basically telling you or showing you the improper way to use this and the proper way. You need to have this under your shirt, not like this, because if you, if you put it like this, it's gonna swing back and forth, all right? So, all right, and then there's a quick start guide in here. We'll put that to the side for now. And then everything that you're gonna need for this camera is in here. This is the USB port charger. Here's the actual charger. The charging wire, I should say. Here's the actual charger. And as you can see, it already has power. It says press to connect. I don't know if you can see that. All right, and this is supposed to be very simplistic. Wow, and this magnet, it's, it's, it's pretty strong too, which is good, of course. Um, if you wanna start recording on this, you can just press right here once. Um, and there's other features. I still haven't uh, read it yet, but the camera can go right in here. See again, magnetize. So it just goes right in. And you can see there's a blue light on the back. So that's showing that it's charging. And right here you have feet that come out. So you can actually use this as a tripod, move, this, move the camera around. So how convenient is that? Wow, this is pretty cool, right? This is really cool, all right? Again, if you look inside the charger, you see the gold rings. Now the camera has some red paper on the back. I'm gonna peel that off. And you can see the same uh, gold rings right there. Uh, this is just very, very cool. You can see right here on the bottom of the charging case, you have the charging port. And then right here, this is so that you can connect the camera to tripods and stuff like that. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. All right, everything's nicely packaged. I'll put that back on the 
Now this is the clip that we were talking about as far as putting it on the brim of a cap. Okay, just the brim of a cap or like a headband or something like that. That's what this is for. And the camera goes into there. And again, it's magnetized. Very, very cool. Very cool. I can't wait to try all of this stuff out. And what do we have here? Ah, okay. In this pivot stand, you can pivot this, you know, a bunch of different directions. Um, this pulls out like so. And the bottom of this pivot stand, you peel off the protective layer, like, like, like that. But this is not like 3M tape or anything. It basically, it just makes it so that it can stick to things. It's reusable, right? So that's cool. That's very cool. And if you wanted to use this like underwater or something, you can use the pivot stand, hold it like this. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. I'll leave the camera in there for now. And then we have here an Insta360. This is a mount adapter bundle. So you have three different mounts. Clearly this is the kind of mount that you would use, just like you would hook up your GoPro or your One uh, R. Um, this one goes on like a selfie stick. And this one is a different kind of mount as well, but it's, it looks like it's pretty much the same way with like a One R or a GoPro mount type of situation. So that's good to have. And we have some lens guards again, you know how important that is. And you're going to get a free lens guard when you order the one, I'm sorry, when you order the Go 2, uh, that's 32 gigabytes. We have a motorcycle mount, which is important. We have a case for it, which is always important. But guys, the other beauty is, you see how small this is? This thing could, and the fact that it's not going to be just like this, you're going to keep it in this charging case. You could pretty much take that anywhere, right? We have a unicorn helmet mount. Okay, and of course, the top of it is just like a selfie stick. We have a unicorn helmet mount carbon fiber extension if you want this to be even higher. And lastly, an extendable edition selfie stick. Okay, everything that you could possibly need. All right, so I want to get this thing done. Oh, how could I forget, guys? Here's another option. This is what I actually use with my Insta360 One X2. And that's how I get those shots where it looks like the motorcycle is being followed by a drone because the selfie stick attaches to this. And this is the belt. You wear this around your waist and you can pivot this by loosening this right here. So I can uh, move this forward and backwards, however much I want it to be. I like to keep it a little bit backwards because as you ride, the wind's going to move it back anyway. And that's how it, that's how I make it appear that a drone is following me, but a little bit behind me. So just good stuff from this company, Insta360. Um, what I'd like to do, guys, is let me just show you the website and talk to you about some of the things going on there, along with comparing the Insta360 One X2 versus the Insta360 One R versus this camera, the Insta360 Go 2. And if you pull up the Insta360 website, You'll see here that they're having a Black Friday sale and there's a countdown here. But again, the Black Friday sale is being combined with a Christmas sale and you have until December 14th. If we scroll down here, first camera they're going to be talking about is one of my favorites, which is the Insta 360 One X2. That's on sale as well. I use that camera for all of my follow the leader and really anything on the motorcycle because I don't have to worry about missing anything. I'm gonna catch everything with the 360 camera. And of course the camera comes with different kits. This is the creator kit. This is the snow kit. They also have a motorcycle kit too. I don't see it listed on here, but I know I have that. Um, and if we come down here, we're gonna be talking about this Insta360 Go 2. And this is the camera that um, I'm talking to you guys about, which is on sale, 270 bucks. And if you use the link in the description section, you're gonna get a free lens guard with it and the free lens guard is important. And down here, you'll see that there's also a 64 gigabyte version because remember this camera has built in memory. Unlike the X, the One X2 and the One R, you can put a memory card in those up to one terabyte. Of course, with a camera this small, it's coming with internal memory. So 
The 64 gigabyte camera does not come with uh, any freebies, but it is on sale. And of course I will put a link in the description section for that camera as well. And the all purpose one right here, there's an all purpose kit for the Insta360 Go 2. Um, I'll put a link for that as well. And if you scroll down a little bit more, then they're gonna talk about the One R. Okay, and this camera, the difference with this one is this has all the functionality of the One X2, but the difference is it's interchangeable. So you can change a 360 lens out, which is right here, and put a normal lens in so it acts just like a GoPro camera. Um, and of course, that's on sale as well. And that comes with its own additions and kits right here. It has an ultimate kit. Um, and if we go down right here, it actually gives you the, the um, option of comparing the One X2, the One R, and the Go2. So let's click on that. And you're going to see that most of the uh, functionality that the One X2 has is shared with the Insta360 One R. Of course, the Go2 is going to be a little different. For instance, right here, 360 resolution. Clearly, it's not a 360 camera but the other two are in 5.7K. Um, wide angle lens, 1440. Flow state stabilization, which is excellent that they all have that, but in particular, this small camera has it. Horizon lock, they all have that. Clearly, you don't need an invisible selfie stick with the Go 2 because it's not a 360 camera. The Go 2 is the only one with a magnetic mount. They all have the same editing capabilities, which is just awesome. The editing on this, the editing that three, Insta360 offers in the app is, is, it's just awesome, second to none. Waterproof, it's 13 feet. Um, the Insta360 One X2 is the best at 33 feet. And then um, the One R is 16 feet, but you have to have it in a mounting bracket. And then as far as the weight, clearly the uh, Go2 is gonna be the lightest. And then battery life, well, not battery, but the not life, but the kind of batteries that are in it. Um, that's listed right there. The kind of screens. It's an OLED screen for the Go 2. The other ones have LCDs and they're touch screens. The screen is actually on the charging case for the Go 2. And then as far as the storage, like I said, it's either a built-in 32 gigabyte, which is the one now that if you click on the link, you're going to get a free um, lens guard. And then they also have the 64 gigabyte one that does not include the free lens guard. And then the One X2 and the One R up to a one terabyte micro SD card. So when you get a chance to go to this website, peruse it, see what works best for you. Um, like I said, this is the main camera that I'm talking about in this video, but I'm gonna put a link for all of them uh, in the description section, because you might want this one and you might want a 360 one, because I know that's what I want. All right guys, so you can see I have the mount on the brim of my cap. And you can manipulate this however you want it to face. And I'm gonna put the camera inside of it. And you'll know which way it goes in because the magnet is on one side of it. There really is no indication on which side it is, but you'll know because if you put it in that way, Nothing's gonna happen, but if I put it in that way, it goes right in. And then I can tilt it however I want it. All right? Just press the button. I felt it vibrate too, so the good thing is I don't have to look at it to know whether it's recording because just by me pressing that, I felt it vibrate. But you can see right here that there's a light blinking, so I know it's recording. As a matter of fact, let me take off this piece of plastic, that might help. And you know, if I walk back over to the table that I was just using to do the unboxing, you know, maybe instead of me using the setup that I normally use, wow, this would be so much easier, right? Because the camera's right here. So pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. And remember I said, there's no real indication of where to press it because there's no button the whole uh, front of it is the button. You press it forward. Nice. You get, it looks like four indications with the light and a long vibration. Mm, that's what I just felt 
and I heard it, of course. I, uh, guys, I'm just, oh, this is just, wow. This is really nice. I'm very, very impressed with this so far. The ease of it, the simplicity, and have you hands-free. And again, because this thing is magnetic, you know, the, 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 the possibilities are almost endless where you can put it, right? I'm looking forward to going through all of these possibilities too. Wow, look, just look at this thing. Let me put this back on my head. Look how, look how small this thing is. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this function. Let me take this thing off my head. You can actually adjust the length. That's the longest this, this, that this can be. Um, okay. And you can't put it on the wrong way because and what I mean by that is the wrong side because it right there has a little diagram of the diameter of this camera. Clearly, you're not going to do it on this side. Looks like that's a sticker that you can remove as well. So let's do that. Okay. And again, with this on the inside of your shirt. Okay, and now, if I put the camera on it, here it is. Look at that, nice and easy, hands-free, POV, which stands for point of view. Press the record button. And now we're recording. I could be looking at my motorcycles. My hands are free. I got some bugs right here. And the, the one of the best things about this, guys, is it is lightweight. I can forget that I have this on me, so I don't even have to think about it. So let me stop this. Again, I feel it vibrating. So I know it stopped. Oh, take that off. The magnet is strong too. But the fact that you can also um, put this on your helmet and stuff like that, but imagine how much lighter this is gonna be on your helmet versus a GoPro or an Insta360 One R or even a One, a one X2, right? So that's the, other, that's the other benefit of how light this is. And again, I know that Whatever I, I record on this camera, just like my Insta360 One X2 and my One R, it will sync to the app. And um, that app has been updated recently, so the export time is much quicker. All of the stuff that I need to do as far as um, editing and trimming, I can do all of that in the app. And then I export it to my phone. And then I can use it in the program that I use to do my editing. It's all easy, and that's the point. It's, it's you know, editing is, um, time consuming and um, complicated enough. And the last thing you want with a camera is something that's gonna further complicate it. And the, all of these Insta360 cameras just don't do that. And that's because they all use the same app for editing. This is actually gonna be even easier to edit than the Insta360 One X2 and the One R because it's not a 360 camera. So when I say easy, I just mean you have less options. Of course, the more options you have, you know, you're gonna, it's gonna take you longer to do things. But with this, because it's just a straight shooting camera, it should be nice and easy. All right, guys, so I'm very, very excited about this uh, Insta360 Insta GoTo camera. Um, just very, very cool. But guys, listen, you have to take advantage of the 10% savings on the accessories. You just have to, because there's so many accessories that come along with this camera. So this is the carrying case. And this carrying case actually has a compartment for a bunch of the accessories that you would need, right? Clearly this is the uh, charger and I actually have the camera in there. These are different mounts that you can use the camera to put it on different things. This is the mount that goes on the brim of your hat or on a, you know, on a headband or something like that. This is the one that goes on the counter or any flat surface, right? Very cool. And then right here, a little pocket here, and this is where I have the plug, the pendant, right? just, just very cool stuff, guys. This is, I'm, I'm really excited about this camera. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mount this camera on the rails of my garage door and then pull my motorcycle out just so I can see, you know, there's so many different ways you can use this camera. Let's test it out. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. 
then when you open it up, see right there it says press to connect and that's talking about connect to the phone if you are connecting it to the app to download. Um, pull it out like so. And then I'm gonna take it and put it right there. Now, I won't need this anymore, so I'll put that right here. And all I have to do, press the button, I heard it beep. And if you see the light blinking, it's recording. All right. All right, so we're gonna pull Angel out. And like I said, guys, the beauty of this is the possibilities are almost endless of what you can do with this camera, where you can put it. You can use different angles and stuff like that. That's so cool. And at the end of the day, uh, just like the Insta360 ONE R and the ONE X2, I don't have to remove the micro SD cards to transfer that um, footage to my computer. Everything is done wirelessly through the app. So just beautiful. So, and it's done quickly as well. It doesn't take forever. So, you know, I don't have to be discouraged of using more than one camera because I don't wanna to have to go through, you know, everything that you have to go through when you're using more than one camera. Make sure the motorcycle's in first gear. Cover the rear brake. Reload, keep it loaded. Clutch right before the sweet spot. Slowly release the clutch. No, clutch right before the sweet spot. Slowly release the clutch. Into the friction zone as soon as the motorcycle starts to move. Pick up my left foot, turn the handlebars. Awesome. Right, so, so how cool is that? So right now, I'm talking to this camera right here, and then I have this camera over here. So this is what I mean when I say you can get dual shots, and you don't have to worry about a big setup, right? With a big bulky camera. If there's something metal, or even if there's not, because again, the accessories, check out the accessories, there's gonna be something where you can take this camera, put it somewhere nice and easy. All right, so I have it on the brim of my hat. Again, there's no indication on it to tell me which way is right, so I just gotta try it. Okay, that's wrong. And when it's the right way, it'll snap in. There we go. And now all I have to do is press the button. I heard it vibrate. So that's a, that's a beautiful feature because otherwise I would have to take the hat off and look at it to see if I see the light blinking. But so now it's recording. And again, I can adjust this however I want it. Put it down more. Like this is all the way down. If something is right under me, but I think I'm gonna put it out. Just a little bit like that. And I think I should be able to. Let me put it up a little bit. Yeah, one click. All right. Put it a little bit more forward. Okay, that's the most forward I can put it, at least at that angle, because you can also put this clip on the top. In other words, so that the camera's on the top of the brim instead of under it.
All right, guys, so I have the pendant on, and the way it's supposed to be is under the shirt. Um, and it shouldn't be a very, very thick shirt either. But bam, put that right there. Now, the back of this um, pendant necklace is adjustable. So clearly, if you wanted this to be higher, you just have to adjust it, okay? But that's pretty good for me right now. If you want it up here, like I said, just adjust it, make it tighter, and that way it'll be higher. But we're gonna keep it here for now. And I think that if I'm sitting on here, Yeah, you're pretty much going to be looking at my windshield. So, I'm going to take the camera off, pull that up a little bit. Okay. So, I didn't tighten it, but that's what you should do. But all I did was pull it back a little bit, and that brought it up a little bit higher. So, let's hit record. Here's the vibration. All right, quick ride. Now the good thing is once I move it up, because it's magnetized, it's not gonna move down either because the weight of the camera, as light as it is, is gonna keep it right where it is. God, it's just, <laughs> it's, I'm so impressed by this. I really am. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to use it for a bunch of different reasons. And um, I, I, I'm, again, I'm gonna recommend this product because I recommend the Insta, I, I recommend the Insta360 One X2 because that's what I use anytime I'm on the motorcycle. But this one right here, this go-to, oh yeah, that's definitely going on the list. And I'm, I, I, would, I would even go as far to say, especially with it being on sale, buy two of them. And the reason I say that is because you can easily just take them and put them in two different locations. And I, I'm, I'm sure anybody that does any recording, you're already either doing it already or thinking about making a recording and doing it in more than one different location. Have it more than one vantage point, all right? Whatever you're recording. And then later on, you can go and post and do what you gotta do with that. But this is just so easy and so simplistic to do. Why not buy two? All right, guys? So yes, I recommend it. Description section, guys, links. Click on those links and act fast, you got into the 14th of December. Listen guys, I highly, highly recommend this camera. I highly recommend all of these cameras, really. The One X2 in particular, and this new GoTo. This is just, this is an awesome addition to anything that you already have. Because there's always gonna be a time where you wanna pull something out and record something, and this is gonna be way easier to use than something bigger, right? I think we can all agree with that. So don't forget to go to the description section, click on these links so that you can get the perks of those links and that is the freebies that come along with all three of these cameras along with the 10% discount that you're going to get on the Insta360 One X2 on this camera and on accessories. Again, the One R is 15%. Also, don't forget this sale is going on until December 14th, so don't waste time. This is this would be an excellent gift for pretty much anybody, but especially somebody that you knows 
uh, they do a lot of recording or even a little bit of recording. Excellent addition to anything that they have or anything that you have, all right? So again, I wanna thank Insta360 for providing me with this and all of the accessories so that I can share with you guys because this is just an awesome, awesome little piece of equipment. And you're not sacrificing quality when it comes to this. The, the, all of the features that come along with this thing, the horizon leveling thing, it's just awesome, right? Just an awesome camera. I'm very excited to see what they come up with next because right now the stuff that they're coming out with, it's just, it's revolutionary really. It's very, very innovative. All right, guys. All right, guys. As I always say, spend more time being thankful for the things that you have and less time complaining about the things that you don't. I want to send a special shout out to my brothers and sisters in blue. Guys, please be careful out there. Know that you're appreciated. Special shout out to the NYPD Highway Patrol, particularly Highway 1, because that's where I worked, and the Highway District, because that's where the motorcycle school is. That's who taught me how to ride these motorcycles the way I ride them. But as I always tell you guys, that's not where it stops for me. This is a perishable skill. You have to stay on top of it. So please guys, keep practicing. Practice, practice, practice. Preload and keep it loaded and practice, 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 practice. Because practice breeds confidence and a confident rider is not only a safer rider, but a rider that's gonna enjoy riding their motorcycles way more. I guarantee it guys, until next time.